Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn modern day mod here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new series as Brazil. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We're going to be changing things up in this series, starting things off on the 1st of January 2017 because, I don't know, I just want to mix things up. <laughs> we've been starting my last couple of series at the um, 2000 start date. So we've got Barack Obama as president, Theresa May, and we've also got Angela Merkel in as well. But the main objective of this series is to make Brazil great again, try and get all of South America under our control. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. So, 1st of January 2017, the Workers' Party is currently in and we want to try and bring in the social liberal party thankfully the nationals outlook in brazil is fucking 55 percent <laughs> so we are going to be able to switch on over and then go neo-imperialism so we're going to be able to gobble up all of our south american neighbors so i want to sort of create a south american sphere of influence create a faction and as well we'll try and uh interfere in geopolitics and sort of sp uh, spread around the Brazilian army. Unfortunately, we're one nearly two trillion in debt. We're currently losing 16 at the moment. Uh, we've currently got eight total corruption, which is currently rampant. We're going to have to massively reduce that. We've got some internal factors, the Brazilian farmers, the workers, and the small and big businesses we're going to have to keep happy. We want to beef up our military spending and yeah get our sort of manpower back on track uh thankfully we've only got 50k which is pretty good um brazil is a huge country with a vast amount of resources and a huge population as well but check out the brazilian focus tree it's actually like semi-customizable as well and some of this stuff has already been done so i think for this series we'll go out on our own i think we'll try and once again stop chinese russian american um actors sort of influencing us and build our own sphere of influence make our own faction we'll see how we go but yeah we kind of don't want to angry nato we don't want to anger csto or the um the shanghai pact either but you never know we might end up having to go to war with one of them if they guarantee some of these small south american countries so we can even bring in uh uh, Bolsonaro as well. Uh, we've even got some war justifications down on the right hand side there. So we're going to be kicking things off with obviously getting our civilian and military infrastructure in check. We can't build a secret agency just yet. So currently we have the IMBL um, IA3 rifle and we can't get the next one until 2025 so we'll try and bring those in. We've got pretty decent support equipment and logistics our tanks are a little bit old 95 however our more modern infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers are nice artillery is not too bad either and the brazilian navy i'd like to beef up a bit as well but thankfully now we're starting in 2017 we've got 17 years of research already done however our Research and infrastructure is quite low. We might even have access to nuclear weapons potentially as well. We, well, we can actually get that. We're currently um, guaranteeing Paraguay, Argentina and Uruguay. And we're probably going to need to get some rare earth resources. But Africa is only a, sl it's only a straight away. So we could potentially um, take some coastal African territories. We have 43 divisions under our control, 26 brata battalions, which is pretty good. We've got a really nice and strong standing army, which is mostly equipped with Brazil equipment. So we should actually be able to weaponize our nuclear reactors if we want. So it shouldn't be too far away to do that. We've already got 19 ships, mostly submarines and corvettes. So we'd like to beef that up as well because we want to dominate the seas in and around and I'd like to beef up the air force as well ideally all right so let me know feedback and suggestions tips and tricks of course but I think we'll play as Brazil 
for this week or so. Um, and then I'm I was looking at other factions to play. Thank you for all the suggestions. I might have to do a poll or a vote somewhere for the next series. But I was looking at sort of countries where we can expand and conquer, have some cool wars, and sort of carve our own kingdom. So in no particular or no particular order, I think we should play as India at some point, um, potentially Mexico, or Nigeria, something like that. I think it'd be quite cool. All right, we're going to, we've got to fix up our production as well. We've only got 13 military. I'd like to increase that. We currently are getting French helicopters using their blueprint. That's kind of sick. I guess because they have French Guyana to the north, like, bordering us, potentially. And let's try and get in some tanks as well. And Swedish aircraft, really. Huh. That's kind of cool that they're using their schematics. Because in Australia, we even... Our old, um... Submarines were... I don't want to get into that whole Australian submarine controversy. Controversy. <laughs> Particularly if there's any French viewers. <laughs> But yeah, our old sort of submarines that we had were from uh, Swedish schematics. That's cool. Alright, so what do we got here? Frigates, uh, destroyers, corvettes, whatever we can get. And then we'll make sure that any newly constructed ship will be able to send to the Navy. So we're going to have to build up our own infrastructure. Um, we're going to have to put in a lot of work. Tearing down the Amazon. <laughs> but thankfully, a lot of our neighbors have a bunch of resources. I can't wait to secure, like, Ecuadorian oil and stuff and Argentine beef. Mmm, delicious. But unfortunately, our neighbors aren't the most sort of factory built up, like military or civilian. So, like, even here, we're, we've got really terrible infrastructure. Look at this. Obviously, the Amazon. <laughs> Is just a huge fucking jungle, so we uh, it's gonna take a while to break that down, carve up through the overgrown stuff, find those ancient cities that they're finding with fucking lidar and stuff. All right, so we want to build infrastructure, civilian factories, and fuel. So I suppose we instantly hold an election because we're already at like fifty-five percent. The nationalists are going to win easily. We don't even need to bring in the army. So, instead of waiting till... What? October? 2018, which is ages away. I'm, I'm going to hold an instant election and try and bring in... Um, I suppose... Bolsonaro. Because the workers' party... aren't overly that strong politically. But we're going to have to get that stagnation up. We want to try and get the growth back, go away from recession. And I would like to as well try and increase and generate more money. So we're going to have to build offices at some point as well. Um, to get the Brazil economy back on track as we are currently hemorrhaging heaps of money in debt. Want to try and get to export focus. We might even try and reduce some of the conscription as well, but it's going to take a little while before we can get to neo-imperialism, which I would highly recommend if you want to start conquering and annexing countries. We might puppet some of the South American countries. We'll see how we go, but I, I kind of want to take it all and core it for myself. So Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro, has been sworn on in quite easily. Um, this is incredibly easy to get the Nationals Outlook uh, faction in compared to, what, in the Australian campaign, which we had to have a civil war. Same within Japan as well. Yeah, so it's going to take a little bit to get to Nero imperialism but... We'll get there. I also, um, obviously want to get some experience for the Brazilian army. So we will be sending volunteers away overseas when available. Okay. So, oh God. So it's like 2017 as well. Look at all these walls going on here. So 
We could maybe send some volunteers to the LNA. And then, oh, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> um, when they swept across the uh, Middle East. I guess we'll negotiate with them. And we'll try and send them some volunteers. So our Brazilian volunteers will be able to get some experience. And what's going on here? They're doing a civil war as well. So I guess we'll back the north rather than the south. Um, we've got the Shanghai Pact there, NATO, CSTO. But thankfully, we've got hardly anyone boarding us that's in NATO. Okay, we're going to go for limited in interventionalism. So does that mean we should be able to send some volunteers over? No, not yet. However, we can send some land lease to Syria just to help on out. So, let's send... Oh, God, we've only got three rifles to send. Let's send one rifle. <laughs> um, what have we got a lot of? Okay, we've got a lot of our... Technical vehicles. So, let's send a hundred of those to help out the regime. Okay, so where do I want to start going down? So, there's a war goal against Venezuela and Bolivia here. So if we can overthrow those governments, that would be beneficial for us. Obviously, Venezuela in a bit of a time of weakness now. So it'll be a nice time to strike for Brazil. So we can release the region of Sao Paulo. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we need to import some technology metals and some precious metals as well now that we're moving to a production economy and I want to try and consolidate the PSL political party alright that's now done oh so they were successful oh they've actually thrown them back quite quickly but they have ceded some territory to the north by the look of it so maybe our lend lease played a part in it um, the rise of media, okay. Still nearly two trillion in debt. It's going to be a while before we reduce that. Germany, China, the states trying to gain influence. We're trying to secure our right populace. I love how the Twitter logo is there. Um, okay, so we're going to have to hold the election again. That's not going to matter. I guess that's going to solidify his rule. Oh, so maybe I should have waited till October. I was just a little bit patient, impatient. Yeah, so Bolsonaro forms a new government. Yeah, so okay, whatever. Oh, so technically you got rid of him. Herman, <laughs> whoever this guy is. Like, I could care less who's the, the, the leader, technically. Okay, so maybe in hindsight I should have been patient and not brought him in instantly. Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter. Anyway, whoever this guy is, have no clue. Brazilians, let me know in the comments. Is he a Chad or is he not? Like in my Turkish series, I think we had like four or five leaders because it went back and forth. We've got the uh, Brazilian Carnival. Oh my god, that's a crazy looking photo. In Iraq there. So, I guess we go with the rise. Oh no, maybe maybe we'll bring him back further down. Oh, looks like the Afghanis were successful. Who won? They won. Nice, okay. Alright. We're upping regional now. Okay, the rise of social media is now done. Yeah, so we're not emerging. We're not Western Outlook. So, CSTO, NATO aren't really our allies. We're going, obviously, nationalist with the SLP party. And we're going to form our own faction, so... Any other nationalist Outlook factions we look to bring in eventually. Okay, so a bunch of factions, well, countries, aren't 
using our uh, licenses. So we're going to have to cancel a bunch of these, which sucks. But if they're not doing it, like, what the fuck? Uh, we're going to be able to send volunteers now. So what's happening here? So there's a conflict that we can get involved in. I think I'll back the south rather than the north. Because they're going to get surrounded. So as long as we can gain some valuable experience with the Brazilian army and special forces, I don't really care where we go. Because we want to be able to get battle-hardened and experienced soldiers before we move into uh, probably Venezuela. Bolivia first. We'll see how we go. Securing that Venezuelan oil would be huge for us. So then we don't have to actually build silos or oil, offshore oil rigging and stuff if we wanted to. All right, let's. Uh, so we can send. We actually can send a fair few, which is a lot. So we can send some to Libya, um, some to the Horn of Africa. Looks like the UK is helping them out here. So let's send some to Somalia. Have a crack at some of those pirates. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... Who do I go... I guess I go for these guys. I don't even know. I don't think it overly matters. We might be able to get war justifications over here as well if we want. But uh, looking at our nationalist focus tree, we want to try and get down the far right-hand side of the tree. Because there's actually a form your own faction um, button. Nice. The volunteers have arrived. And also we can put up the tax as well. The corporate tax and population is incredibly low. If we can get that like 38, 28 down the bottom, that'd be awesome. Alright, so our boys have landed just east of the Kuwait base. And we'll send them north to engage the uh, Kurds, I guess. So we're going to be fighting on the side of the Iraqis down here. Um, let's uh, move further south here as well. So hopefully this will make our guys at least five star experience. That'll be brilliant. Oh, and let's get them stuck into some pirates. Just rock up with the Brazilian Navy. Dude, some of those videos are crazy. Have you seen them online? Where... I think they're former US Marines protecting cargo ships. And those little skiffs come flying at... Um, the cargo carriers. They're fucking crazy. It's uh, fucking wild. I recommend... Looking at them. So what's going on here? Alright, so they've seceded in the north. But yeah. Somali skiff videos. <laughs> Fucking wild. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they're like they're like it's like GoPro fit footage from like American contractors, I suppose. Alright, we need to get another commander in here now. But Brazil now has boots on the ground throughout the world, which is going to give us some valuable experience. Because we have numbers, we've got a bunch of divisions and battalions, but we simply just don't have the experience once a hot war breaks out. Which it will soon, once we start going after some of our neighbours. And, whoops. I want to try and break some of these off, because I already assigned all these, because it's still a little while let, uh, left before we can go down and start conquering countries, go down neo-imperialism. The new government is only just in, and we need to solidify our position, because there will be a lot of other factions, well, every other major faction in the game is going to be trying to influence us, but already, never fear. Brazil is here, and we've already joined a small operation and mission, and some fighting has broken out. Nice! 
So this is uh, going to allow us to level up heaps. Well, the Italians, the Poles, the Egyptians are helping on out here as well. Interesting. And then we've got like the Greeks helping them now out in the north. Okay. <laughs> anyway, on that note, unfortunately, it's time to end the first episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for episode two coming out the exact same time tomorrow. And let me know feedback and suggestions, of course. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simpsey, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.